Yeah, hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about what is adenomyosis and how it affects the fertility. Before knowing about adenomyosis, we have to know that uterus is made up of three layers: an inner layer which is called as the endometrium, the middle layer which is the muscle part of the uterus called as myometrium, and an outer thinner layer called as serosa. So endometrium is the inner layer which is functional. In the sense, it is the layer which is responsive. to the hormones like estrogen and progesterone and this is the layer which sheds down during the menstrual cycle as bleeding through the vagina so normally the endometrial tissue should be confined to the endometrial layer but when this endometrial tissue is present in the muscle part of the uterus that is in the myometrium we call it as adenomyosis so how this is going to affect the fertility because the endometrial tissue is a functional tissue which is responsive to the hormones when this tissue is present in the muscle of the uterus it also becomes responsive to hormones like estrogen and progesterone and it also starts to bleed during the menstrual cycle but because there is no outlet to go as in case of normal menstrual cycle this gets accumulated within within the muscle of the uh, uterus and this leads to increase in the thickness of the muscle of the uterus so this we call it as adenomyosis so adenomyosis can be local which is confined to only one part of the uterine musculature or it can be diffuse affecting the entire uterine musculature so what symptoms the uh, patient affected with adenomyosis have usually they have severe pain during the menstrual cycle they have lot of uh, excess flow during the menstrual cycle associated sometimes associated with clots and they might have a dull chronic pain which is persistent even beyond the menstrual cycle so this is the few symptoms and they may present to the fertility centers with history of infertility